Hello, today I would like to discuss about how to fix the procedure or function has too many parameters specified in SSRS report. When we use multi-select parameters, and here is the error message we get if we use the multi-select parameters for SSRS. The demo I'm going to use is Adventure Sample Database for Microsoft. I have already set up an SSRS report, which shows the product name and the sales amount. Here I have got two data set. One is the product data set, which is the source for the product parameters we use, which pass to the main data set, which query the data for the main table content. Now let's get back to see how these two data set works. This query is for retaining all the product from the system. If I'm running this query, it returns 158 record for the product. The main data set is going to take a multi-select product items in this kind of format with the comma separate. The parameter will pass to a string split function, which change the string list to a virtual table, which is similar to the table value functions, and then join against the product key. So if I run this query, it returns the product and the sales amount. Now let's get back to the report itself. So the product data set picks up all the distinct product in the system. And the main data set takes the parameter of the selected product items and then run the data. The parameter product is actually take the product data set using the product key as the value and the product name as the label. So now I'm going to run this report. When I preview this report, if I choose one item, the report works perfectly fine. However, if I'm going to choose multiple items and then view the report, and all of a sudden it returned an error says, the function has got too many parameters specified. Now there are two solutions. One is we can change these data source for the main data to store procedure, which can easily resolve the issue. The other solution is we still use the inline SQL, but change the parameter. Instead of passing the product parameter to the stop procedure uh, to the SQL screen, we change it to an expression using join. Followed by single quote. Now, okay, this. Let's try to preview this report. If I choose one item, it works per normal. I'm going to pick a multiple item. It works perfectly fine as well. So really the solution is reset the parameter instead of using the product itself, using the join followed by single call, a single comma. So there's a solution. I hope you find these tips useful. Thanks for watching.